Are sunlit ice crystals cause for celebration? They are when they mean school's canceled. This is the perfect opportunity to catch up on your homework. A snow day's more like a surprise vacation, Boulder. Everyone just stays home and plays in the snow, because it's not really safe to travel. Emergency team, a rocket skier is stranded on Mount Griffin. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Wait, am I the only one who heard, not really safe to travel? Or am I just the only one who cares? We shouldn't even be flying in a snowstorm. I'm losing feeling in my rotors. Relax, Blades. I'm keeping close watch on your instruments. My instruments are down here. I have a visual on the skier, Dad. He's... Ah! <gasps> oh, it looks like the skier's unconscious, Dad. We'll need help getting him onto our winch. Copy that, Danny. Heatwave, guess it's time to play in the snow. We've done this a hundred times. Not on a snow day! Uh, Cade, what did you eat for breakfast? Avalanche! A routine patrol with four bats and stasis. You say they were in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now and in addition. Optimus Prime gave them this Learn from the human, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. Family of heroes will be your allies. To others remain robots in disguise. Roll to the rescue. A hero. What exactly were you so afraid of? Snow? Do you know what weather like that does to a helicopter? Everything can go wrong! And likely will, according to the law of the human named Murphy. Blades may have been frightened, but he still accomplished the mission. Isn't that what matters most? If Blades scares so easily, he doesn't belong on a rescue team. It's okay to feel fear, Heatwave. That's what courage is, being scared, but doing the heroic thing anyway. And I think you've all been courageous today. The storm has shut down most of Griffin Rock. Folks are inside, staying safe. Why don't you enjoy a little downtime? Rest up. Noble! You get a snow day, too! Doubles! Sorry, Heatwave. Go back five spaces. What? I earned those spaces. Duh. Breaker, Breaker, this is Long Arm of the Law. Any reports of criminal activity at the harbor? Nothing since you asked 30 seconds ago, Long Arm. Over and out. Uh, Cody, um, Graham said he might need my help with the project. Guess it's just you and me, Blades. Go fish? Oh, what about those video games you're gonna teach me to play? I've already beaten them all. Except... The Hall of Inspiration has a new virtual reality game on display. Doc was gonna let Frankie and me try it out today, but he's stuck on the mainland because of the storm. I'm sure he won't mind if you and I play.
That room is a game? No, Blades, it's a VR chamber. We go inside to operate the game controls. Come on. <sighs> Does VR stand for very restrictive? Virtual reality. We'll be totally immersed in the game. It'll look and feel real to us, even though it's not. We're in Griffin Rock, but what happened to the snow? And the sky? And us? I'm so shiny. And short. <laughs> this is your avatar. You in the game world. Our actual selves are still in the VR rooms. But this all seems so believable. <laughs> Wait, why can't I transform? Because in the game, you're not you, you, you're virtual you. Oh. Our avatars have special skills. See? <laughs> They're like us, but even cooler. Ah! Welcome to Griffin Rock Element Quest 1.0. I am Cat, Character Assist Technology. I am here to provide you with guidance. The goal of this game is to find and capture a flag at each of three levels. Water, fire, and earth. When you obtain all three flags, you win. To end play at any time, simply say, game over. Begin. Element quest level one, water. Oh, dolphins, how cute. <laughs> Not dolphins. Don't worry, Blades. Nothing can really hurt us here. Watch. You lose. Restart. So if something bad happens in the game, we get a do-over? How did you do that? We earned invincibility. Games can give you temporary powers if you find special objects. Like that one. Grab it! Yes! I earned the power of... Blow drying? Blow drying! <laughs> Where are all these barrels coming from? There! The boss of the level! The squid is guarding the flag! We need to find his weakness! There! Water level successful. Continue play? Yes, please. You bet. Ready, Blades? Element quest level two. Fire. Lightning too? I can't remember a storm this bad. Thunder snow. The bot should see this. Cody, are you still in the bunker? Uh, he's with Blades, Dad. They're playing some game at the Hall of Inspiration. Cody! Error. 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 Is it just me, or was that fire kind of hot? Not just game hot, actually really hot. Edit X! 
actually really, really hurts! wrong with the program. Ah! We quit! Game over! And we are! I'm sorry, Cody. I am afraid I can't do that. But we don't want to play anymore! Override failure 0357. Reality mode locked. Goodbye. The VR tech's malfunctioning. This isn't virtual anymore. It's real! You mean we're stuck in here? Forever? With that? The only way out for sure is to finish the game. We have to win. Ah! <gasps> Dragons seem a lot friendlier on public television. <laughs> <laughs> To get to the flag, we'll have to jump. And get barbecued? Uh-uh! There is no way I'm moving up this high! <laughs> Hurry! If we don't jump now, we'll fall off. I did it! Yes! <laughs> Take that! Virtual reality! Uh, Blades, we have to keep going. <sighs> Blades? Looks like the lightning shorted out some of this tech. Chief, I have found evidence that Cody and Blades were here. They probably still are. Inside Doc's new VR game. Come on out, son. I want you two home before this storm gets any worse. I guess they can't hear us. There's gotta be some way to open these... Sir, if I may. Apparently, I may not. Maybe Doc can help us. There's no reception in this storm. Team, we need backup. What do you know about video games? Ah. Awesome! We made it. Now what? I'm not sure. The game doesn't just tell you what you need to win. Figuring it out is the fun part. I was wondering when the fun would start. Uh, ah! <clears throat> Let me go, Blades. No! If you fall, I fall! It's okay. Look, invincibility. Please don't miss. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Fire level complete. Whew. I'm sorry, Dad. Looks like these VR chambers can't be opened manually while the game is in play. So we turn it off? No! That's neural net technology. Sorry. Left my geek dictionary at home. The room circuitry is linked directly into Cody and Blade's minds. If we shut off the VR tech, we might shut off their brains. You mean Cody and Blades could be trapped in the game forever? Is there nothing you can do, Graham? <sighs> no, the, the only way for the rooms to open and for Cody and Blades to return safely is for the game to terminate by itself. They have to beat it. Cody knows how to play these things, but Blades is probably too scared to move. If only we could offer assistance. Maybe you can. I, I might be able to patch someone into the system. I'll go. Blades is my responsibility. They both are. I'll need a little time to put together a controller. <laughs> the snow must be piling up on the electrical lines outside. If those lines snap... The hall loses all power. What would that do to the game? It's the same as turning it off. Then we make sure the power stays on. Graham, let me know as soon as you're ready for me. Rescue bots, 
Roll to the rescue! Element Quest Level 3. Earth. Come on, Blades. This way. Finally, a little peace. No monsters, no jumping, no... Ah! What in the all spark? Ow! I used to like video games. Then I took an arrow to the knee. Got it. The trees are all booby-trapped. We need something to protect ourselves. Would a giant plate help? That's not a plate, it's a shield! <laughs> Come on, Blades! <laughs> One more flag to go and we beat the game! As soon as we clear these lines, we can... Boulder, we're losing power in the hall. No, Cody. Something's wrong. I can hardly move. System error. System error. All your ba base are belong to us. Me 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 malfunction. We're losing Cody and Blades. I need that power back up now. Kate, out. Yeah. Nice going, Heat Wave. Yeah! You might not want to touch him for a few minutes. Heat Wave, I'm ready to patch you in. It's not very pretty, but it should connect you to the game. <sighs> I'm ready to play. <gasps> there! The last flag! Wait! Blades! Uh, whoa! Uh, uh. It's probably... Uh. Trap. I'm coming! <laughs> he wave. What are you doing here? I, I thought you needed help. Nope. Blades has been amazing. Good to see you, Heat Wave. But aren't you afraid you'll be stuck in this game with us? <laughs> Great. I'm here to win this thing and get us all out. Oh, this program simulates pain, too? Good times.
Congratulations, players. The elemental quest is complete. A winner is you. Game over. Cody! Are you okay? Oh, I am now. Virtual reality is even more dangerous than real reality. So then the monster attacks, claws as big as your head, but Blades here charges right at it, doesn't even bat an optic. Weren't you afraid? Afraid? No. I was terrified! But Cody needed me. Is that not the definition of courage? If Blades is scared half as often as he says he is, he might well be the bravest of us all. There is still one thing I fail to comprehend. How is it that humans find a snow day enjoyable? You'll understand, once we go sledding down Breakneck Slope. I'd rather fight another Does tree. Does that require a permit? I am not going out snow, there again. No, thank you. Take your temperature, cause Griffin Rock has dolphin fever. Hello everyone, I'm Huxley Prescott, and this is opening day of the Dolphin Wonder Festival. Sir, I had no idea Griffin Rock possessed this many licensed drivers. A lot of visitors, Chase. They come over on the ferry. First day of the festival is always like this. I must admit, I fail to see the appeal of watching identical sea mammals swim past the island. I just hope it turns out better than last year. Hardly any dolphins showed up. <laughs> the mayor resorted to wearing a dolphin suit to keep the tourists from leaving. He made little kids cry. We're now here at the marina, where I spy with my little eye a glint of sunlight, a clump of seaweed, or maybe the first dolphin of the festival. on it. Leaving now. On our way. Copy that. Chase, time to stretch your legs. Gladly, sir. Whoa, whoa, hit the skids! Uh, just close your eyes. What a show! 
dolphins and rescue robots. Only here in Griffin Rock. I'm Huxley Prescott. <laughs> More cars. I really shouldn't be leaving. Oh, go have fun, Dad. We'll be fine. We can take care of ourselves. Please stay! The last time Cade was in charge, he made us wax the garage floor. Nothing wrong with seeing your reflection when you look down. Well, my reflection. Don't worry, Chief. We can handle anything the festival or Cade can throw at us. I only wish I could accompany you to the Peace Officers Conference. It sounds most informative. Yeah, but always way too long. Nevertheless, please take copious notes. Kids, since Doc and Frankie are out of town, I've asked someone to keep an eye on... things. That's code for babysitter, isn't it? Oh, believe me, he's no babysitter. Hello, family of heroes! Uncle Woodrow! Welcome back! I thought you were on safari. Wait! Is this Grandpa's old convertible? <laughs> the old jalopy itself. He had some fun joyriding around in this old tuna boat, didn't we, Charlie? Uh, best car ever. Indeed. And how are my favorite humans and aliens? Excellent. Uh, 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 a little louder. The rest of the island didn't hear you. What? You're still keeping that a secret around here? Yes, and so are you. Oh. Gotcha. But hey, Cybertronians, let's chat later, huh? I want to hear more about your world and your culture. We'd love to. The festival will be keeping everyone plenty occupied. And I expect Cody and I will be running the joint, right? <laughs> Woodrow, we talked about this. <laughs> Just kidding, Charlie. I won't participate in the rescues. Hey, I'm not official. Did you bring us any cool gifts, Uncle Woodrow? From my safari? Dry roasted beetles. You can't eat just one. I'll take your word for it. Well, that's my cue. I'll see you all next week. Bye, Dad. We'll see be you fine, soon, Charlie. We'll miss you. Have fun, Dad. Since I can't be seen without a driver, I will be walking home. Care to join me, Cody? Nah, little chief is cruising it old school with his uncle, right? You bet. See you at home, Chase. Of course. Enjoy the jalopy ride. Uh, this is Chase's spot. Ah, he won't mind. Besides, I need to get into the kitchen. I have big plans for dinner. Cool. What you fixing? Baked hackalooey. A little recipe I picked up in the Calliope Rainforest. What's in it? A cornucopia of ingredients. But since you didn't have any eggs from the Wampu Fruit Dove, I had to improvise. Yeah, smells like feet. Graham's feet. Tastes pretty good. Got a kick a to it. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Told you those roasted beetles were yummy. You're dripping oil, aren't you? This ought to be far enough. Now, let's get this over with. I have serious doubts these beacons will attract dolphins to the island, sir. The ad said they emit the whooshing sound of a swimming squid. Dolphins like squid. What could go wrong? You bought them at a flea market, Mayor. With a coupon. Look, it's this or you're wearing that dolphin costume. Um, let's check the directions. <laughs> check the directions. No need. The beacons are water activated. Yeah, with dolphins chasing these little wonders around the island, tourists will be here all week. <laughs> Says here to release one every 50 feet to avoid interference with boat operations. Time is of the essence, Mr. Alper. Come on.
need a ride to school, Uncle Woodrow. Most of the time, I just take my hoverboard. No trouble at all, little chief. Gives me a chance to drive Chase. How you doing anyway, Chase? Fine, sir. Exactly how long will you and your car be in town? Emergency dispatch. Help! My yacht is on a collision course with the South Shore! <gasps> We're coming, Mr. Mayor. Team, the Mayor's yacht is about to crash into the beach. We have to respond, Uncle Woodrow. Hot dog! I'm on a rescue! Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Attention, please evacuate the beach immediately. Kaboom! Hurry! Go, go, go! My balloon! It's moving way too fast! It looks like the yacht is gonna hit before you guys get here. Danny, listen. Remember the game you used to play with your dolls and toy boats down by the creek? Yeah, why bring that up? Blades can be the ramp! Be, be the, the what? what? Be the what? I think it'll work, Danny. Hurry! Oh, boy. What? Oh, boy. You know I don't like oh, boys. Drop into the surf blades and convert to bot mode. Oh. Now, fall forward and prop yourself up. Oh, boy. Ugh. All the hair-brained ideas. Hey, it worked. Here's... Someone is getting a medal for this. It's a water beacon, all right. Advertised as a dolphin lure. I wonder if the mayor was dropping those in the ocean. Wouldn't put it past him. Doesn't seem right making dolphins go where they don't want to. <laughs> and according to our own emergency responders, credit for this morning's Daring rescue belongs to Woodrow Burns. Good job, Uncle Woodrow. Yeah, yeah, no more. <laughs> Therefore, until the return of Chief Burns, I am naming Woodrow temporary acting chief of Griffin Rock. I love Uncle Woodrow, but there's no way he's telling us how to do our jobs. Chief Woodrow, your reaction. <laughs> I'm speechless. Mayor, how about a few words? Though I am reminded of the time I was made honorary tribal leader for the tree people of Tatui. I was then expected to jump into an active volcano as a sacrifice to the lava gods. Whoa! I guess Uncle Woodrow is now official. Chase, I'm ready. Uh, ready for what, sir? Ooh, what does Charlie usually do? The chief can often be found working in the command center. Typically not wearing someone else's clothing. Danny, some dolphin balloons are tangled in the wind turbines and... You know, Danny, once when trying to get coconuts from a tall tree, I used a high-powered crossbow and... Uh, thanks, Uncle Woodrow. We'll just climb up. Kate! Reports of a grease fire in one of the festival food trucks. Whoa! Can't put water on a grease fire, Cade. Graham, get Boulder to bury the entire food truck with sand. What? We're equipped to handle grease fires, Unc. Thanks, though. <coughs> Uncle Woodrow, maybe you... Allow me. Emergency dispatch. What? Don't worry, I'll be right there. Take over, Cody. Chase and I are needed. A man's been trapped in a tree for over three hours. Poor Mr. Pennypaws. <laughs> but Uncle Woodrow, he's not a... He belongs to... I guess you'll figure it out.
All clear. No breakfast. Oh, darn. I was looking forward to Uncle Woodrow's fried lizard tail omelets. I wonder where he is. Probably dabbing antiseptic on all the cat scratches he got from Mr. Pettipaws. <laughs> 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 oh, come on, guys. Un Uncle Woodrow. W w we didn't mean that... No, it's okay, kids. I, I know I get carried away. I guess... It just felt good being a part of this family. And don't worry, I'll stay out of the rescues. Well, nice one, guys. What? You're, You're the one who... Paid. Rescue team, we have an outright dolphin disaster on our hands. How can we have a festival of our main attractions are stranded upriver in the wetlands? Those dolphins won't survive like that much longer. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Uncle Woodrow, come on! No, I promised to stay out of the way. Kay, Danny, and Graham were just goofing around. I'll be fine, Cody. But Chase needs a driver, right, Chase? That is correct, unless I want to walk, which I do not. <laughs> if you insist. Rescue bot, roll to the rescue! Uh, only Heatwave says that. Oh, sorry. For some reason, the dolphin swam upriver here, then doubled back down into the wetlands here. I don't get it. Why can't they just swim back out? I imagine they're scared and confused. That, I get. More beacons. They must have made a wrong turn and ended up here. And the dolphins followed them. Such beautiful creatures. We have to do something. We will. Better hurry. Dolphins can easily overheat out of the water. We'll grab those beacons. Bots, carry the dolphins over that berm to the river. The current will take them back out to sea. Got it. Let's move. Sorry about all this, fella. these dolphins free before we run out of time. Like we have other options. I do have an idea. Uh, no offense, Uncle, but... We need to do something. Uncle Woodrow, what do you have in mind? Well, if we can raise the water level, I think I can convince the dolphins to leap back into the river on their own. Convince the dolphins? Yeah, I used to communicate with the species quite a lot while exploring the Marshall Islands. Well, even if you could, Uncle Woodrow, how would we raise the water? Good news is, the wetlands are drained by only two outlets. And all we'd have to do is block those up, right? I say it's worth a try. All right, let's do it. I would like to see a certain convertible jalopy do that. Heatwave, bullhorn, please. This I gotta see. I'm a little rusty, but here goes. Come on, swim Just this way. Jump on over, dolphin. You can do it. The dams are failing. Ugh. Why isn't this working? I should have known better. Wait, Uncle Woodrow, you said you talked to the dolphins in the Marshall Islands. 
That's in the Pacific Ocean. Don't they have different dolphins there? Yes! I'm speaking Pacific white-sided dolphin, not Atlantic. <laughs> They're actually listening to him. I want to speak dolphin. Woodrow, don't ever think you're not part of this family. Only a Burns could pull something like that off. Now I see why people come out here to watch him. I want a dolphin. Well, maybe just one of those balloons? <laughs> the festival is saved! Take it, Mr. Alper, you can change now. Mmm, homemade pizza. The perfect welcome home feast. Thanks for fixing it, Woodrow. I love cooking for my family. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> no hint mm. of feet at all. I realize my culinary choices are kind of unusual. Once you get past first impressions, they're not so bad, are they? <laughs> Maybe kind of like me. That's my brother, an acquired taste. Mmm, this really is good. And some people don't think bat milk cheese is very tasty. <laughs> Kidding! Ever try milking a bat? They're very moody. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't really bat milk cheese, is it? Although I will have to clean up your oil spot, you have safeguarded your humans. For that, you have my respect. Take care of everyone, little chief. Bye, Uncle Woodrow. Thanks again. So long, Safe huh? travels. See the postcard. Two words. Road trip. We're gonna need a bigger road. Okay, that pedal's the gas, and that one's the brake. Thanks, Cody. I have two of my own, remember? What's that thing Cade's playing with? The GPS. Just planning my date with Haley tomorrow. We'll start with a picnic. Nothing says romance like some hummus by the river. Uh. Fasten your seatbelt and you're ready to roll, Heatwave. Watch the sun go down over Mount Griffin. We should probably bring a blanket. Hey, lover boy, can we begin now? No, oh, whenever you're. <laughs> Hard to believe this is Heatwave's first driving lesson. Cade must be a really good teacher. Yeah, slow down! Relax. I'm a vehicle myself, remember? Attention, rescue team. I'm in pursuit of a speeder on Old Canyon Road. Anyone else in the area? We sure could use a hand.
Come out, citizen, and be embraced by the firm but fair hand of the law. I think I'm gonna... Oh. So, driving lessons over. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Blades, look at you. Woo! They don't call me swivel rotors for nothing. Hey, Frankie. I'm riding my bike to the museum. You want to come? Oh! <laughs> Sorry, Cody. Maybe later. After stage 12. Okay. Yeah! Uh, 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 Way uh, to go! Flank takes your guard. And Archer takes your flank. What? Whoa! What's this called? The Cybertronian name is essentially untranslatable. Chase always wins comes pretty close. Can I play? Presently, the game is programmed for only two players. Perhaps you should speak to Dr. Green. He and Francine assisted us with its construction. Sure is nice not having to act like bucketheads around those two anymore. Um, maybe we can hang out later? Okay, beat this move, I dare ya. <sighs> Great. Try it again, Dad. <sighs> Never letting Heat Wave near this thing again. Hey, Boulder. Doc. That's cool. Doc and I have been doing a little R&D. Needs more D. Ever since Boulder began sharing his Cybertronian technology with me, the ideas keep coming. In addition to all the updates to the firehouse, I've had 43 new inspirations. 44, if you include my inspiration counter. Tell him about the vacuum accelerator, Doc. This small tube accelerates the natural process of submolecular oscillation. Allowing physical mass to overcome spatial restraints. Uh, I was with you up until small two. I'll demonstrate. Hmm, we need a test subject. Ah! Just press the remote and... Hey! Who stole my tools? <laughs> Not stolen. Teleported. Noble! Can that teleporter move anything? Anywhere? Theoretically. Yeah, so where did it theoretically move my toolbox to, Doc? We don't know where the teleported objects go precisely. Uh, but we can bring them right back. That is, we should be able to. The test object always returned before. Some new factor must have altered the mechanism. But what's changed? Cody, check this out. I installed a mobile command center, like the one inside the firehouse. It's fully loaded. And apparently operational. Emergency dispatch. We see you, Mr. Whitaker. I'll send somebody out right away. Dad, a parasailer got caught on the lighthouse. He's stuck up there. Meet me in the garage, team. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Mr. Whitaker, GPS says help should be there in about two minutes. I can buy Kate a new toolbox, but a new teleporter will be a bit harder to come by. Uh, found it. What wonderful news! This proves the device can teleport even gigantic objects. Daddy, I'm pretty sure Cody was inside that particular gigantic object. Oh my. Hello? Cody, where are you? In the MHQ. At the river? Which side? Neither. <gasps> Cody, 
Do you see the teleporter? It must be somewhere near you. Got it! Dad says there's a reset button on the side. Try pushing it. Nothing happened. Now what? We're on our way. Perhaps my remote will do the trick once we're closer. In the meantime, Cody, think buoyant thoughts. Hey, that's Taylor. Do you remember Blades? We helped land his plane. I never forget a rescue, but I didn't know his name. Funny that you do. I pay attention to the other pilots. Name two others. <sighs> Just drop your winch, okay? <laughs> So what am I supposed to do? Why does it always have to be about you? You're where? All right, stay put, son. Do not try to get out on your own. Somehow, Doc's device teleported Cody to the river. He said you could explain it, Boulder? Well, um, the small tube oscillates molecules on a subatomic level, and then it- Later. Vehicle mode, please. You too, Chase. Heatwave's staying with you, Cade. It's not like he's doing anything. You do know we're on the same comm link, right? Fine. Heatwave with me. Let's move, team. Cade will fly you as close as we can. Be, be careful with this one, okay? Always am. Be extra careful. This one's name is Taylor. Blades, I'm never oiling your gearbox again. Cade? Cade, can you hear me? Hi. Taylor, right? G can I be honest? This is kind of a goofy sport. Whoa! Where did they go? <laughs> you know, next time you try this goofy sport, I'll teach you how to land properly. Hell, next time don't run into a lighthouse and I won't need to land. <laughs> uh, looks like you sprained your ankle. Better stay off it until we can call for a ride. What, do you think you're some kind of doctor? EMT training on the mainland. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, oh, hey. Where's my comm link? On second thought, maybe you should try walking after all. I don't need any help. Ah! Oh, the teleporter still isn't responding to the remote, Dad. There must be a more powerful signal overriding us. We need to give the remote a boost. Won't be necessary, Doc. We can boost the whole MHQ. Cody, are you all right? Yeah, but I'm kind of wishing I brought a bathing suit. Dad, are you there? It's Cade. He's lost in the mountains somewhere with Taylor. So, Hotshot couldn't handle things by himself, huh? The parasail flew off with them holding on to it. We're searching, but... Even if we found them, the trees are too dense for me to land. As soon as Cody's safe, we'll meet you at the end of the old canyon road to initiate a ground search. <laughs> Cody, hang on to something! <laughs> Climb out toward me, Cody! <laughs> What? <gasps> Cody! Boiling chips! Where'd the MHQ go?
times when I wish gravity were not a law. <laughs> I know I said I missed hanging out with you guys, but this is not what I had in mind. On the plus side, I bet hardly anyone gets a view like this. Yeah, there's a reason for that. Uh, Mayday! SOS! Uh, this is not a test! Mommy! Those are all the human distress signals I know. Chase, where are you? We find ourselves in a precarious position atop Mount Griffin. And he means the very top, Dad! We see you, Cody. There is no way this is gonna work! We're better off up here than trying to outrun a bear. I'd only have to outrun you. Look, I know you rescued me and all, but... Can you try being a little bit friendly? Sorry. I guess my sister got all the charm in the family. And yeah, all the looks, too. Cade's <laughs> 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 not gonna like that. Blades! You're a sight for sore optics. Headquarters is way too mobile. Cody! Oh, Cody. Ah, this thing is nothing but trouble. Ah. Hey, Doc and I put a lot of thought into that. Apparently, not enough. No more sightseeing. We're going to find Cade. You mean drive there? In this? No way! Cade and Taylor are in a forest so dense you couldn't get through, let alone this monster. <sighs> Too bad we can't teleport ourselves there. Even if we knew where Cade was, there's no way to control where the teleporter takes us. The river? The mountain? And then, oddly, an outdoor cinema. The device's range of destinations does seem random. Wait. It's not random. Cody, can you call up the MHQ's GPS from back here? Sure. Those are all the places Cade was talking about taking Haley. He programmed them in here to plan his route. That's amazing! You actually pay attention to Cade. Don't you dare tell him. When the command center went online, it took over the teleporter's controls. So if we are able to determine Cade's current coordinates... And Taylor's. <laughs> we should be able to program them into the GPS and teleport there. Except... How far did you throw that thing? Nobody complained when I was lobbing champ three years running. Dad! <laughs> we 
were halfway up Mount Griffin when we got your call. <sighs> it's hard keeping up with all of you. And the strangest thing happened on the way here. This hit my windshield. It must have teleported itself. Um, sort of. I'll explain later. Did you ever have the feeling you were a few steps behind? More like a whole staircase. <laughs> I think that's bear for you are lunch. Yeah, now let's send him to another restaurant. Not bad. Maybe my sister was right about you. Danny? She knows who I am? What did she say? Kate! Kate, come in! Kate! Kate, come in! He's still not answering. That doesn't mean the comlink isn't putting out a signal. Found it! Heatwave, I'm entering Kate's coordinates into the GPS. Strap in. Determine precisely when we're going to. You're not hurt. Uh, check out the foot. Oh, I meant, I... I mean, uh... Oh. So ask her out already. <laughs> Somehow a family always ends up back together, doesn't it? Take us home, son. Ready, everybody? Ready. 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 Totally. Affirmative. Ready. Yep. Let's go. Let's do it. Yep. <gasps> I just had another inspiration. That makes 45. <laughs> I'm not sure you should count the teleporter, Daddy. That's still a little... <laughs> Unpredictable.